Stewardship Biblical. Biblical Stewardship Amen. The objective of this topic is this. To provide an orientation and understanding of stewardship ministries. And its place in the life and mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. To highlight the value of presenting stewardship as total life management and committed commitment to God. To present a holistic approach to Christian stewardship that is consistent with our Adventist belief and mission. So the objective of this seminar is this. To give us a complete understanding about the ministry of stewardship department. Talking about stewardship is the total life management. It's about commitment to God. And we get to learn about the whole picture about Adventist teaching on stewardship. When we open the fundamentals, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 28 doctrine, I mean, our fundamental beliefs. Uh, we have in the church how many departments? Eight or ten or twelve? <laughs> ten? Ten departments. Cyber school. Uh, personal ministry. Uh, education. Uh, youth. Health. What else? Publishing. Women. Women ministry. ไม่ใช่เนาะเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวมันเนี่ยคอมมิวนิเคชั่นคอมมิวนิเคชั่นนะเฮลท์ใช่มั้ยเต้นเต้นเซกุชิบาเลย
ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้
No, what else? Very easy. Lo diré, dice. Tú te quiero que ir. Ya. Multiply. 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 In Hebrew means rada. Rada means to dominate. To dominate. That's the main purpose of God, great Adam and Eve. No other purpose. In other words, Adam and Eve were created to become a a man. Steward. Steward. Rada in Hebrew means steward. 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 Rada. That's the original word in Hebrew. Genesis 126. Rada. Rada. Okay. God created Adam because of the Rada. So you can, you can, you can manage all creatures that God has created. So from the beginning, in the beginning, the first and foremost uh, foremost uh, what do you call it? task we are given to men was to become a good steward. So, stewardship means the whole aspect of the human life. And then, at the end of everything, when the end of the whole world, stewardship began with the, uh, uh, God began with man as a good steward, and when the world is come to an end, when Christ comes, the time of his coming, no more Seventh-day Adventist. Seventh-day Adventist, let me see. No more Protestant. Protestants, let me see. No more Pentecostal. Pentecostal, let me see. No more Catholic. Catholic, let me see. No more Buddhist. No more Muslim. Muslim. No more Hinduism. Hindus. No more everything. No more any religion. There are only two religions stay until Christ comes. Only two groups. Who are they? Who are they? <laughs> Very good. Amen. By, by the way. Sheep. <laughs> And go. Right group and left group. By the way, sir, yeah. this road name is Stewart Road. Ah. In front of the church. What? Road name is Stewart. Oh, Stewart. <laughs> so, there are only two groups. Advent is no more. Because Advent is only the name of the church. Advent is only the name of the organization. Representing the organization name. Organization and name. But only two groups at the end. So man, Those who are in the right side of Jesus. Those who are at the left side of Jesus. Sheep and goat. Wheat and tares. Tares. Yeah. Sheep and goat. And Jesus was on the air. In his throne. The boomer and the boomer and trumpet mora. With the trumpet sound by the angel. So much the boomer and the angel. And the death is Christ. In the death in Christ. Christo, chala na ni. Will be resurrected. Ate pia si me ti re duri. And when he die in Christ. Christo mati lona duri. He'll be in the right group. Le ya be usi ma si me. And the living. The living sense, they are good stewards. And he said to the right group, Come unto me. All you have to do is to come and enjoy 
the, yeah. what do you call it? Enjoy the house of your master. And, and, they, and then they said, Jesus, why we are safe? Why I am safe? What is the answer of Jesus? He didn't say, you are safe because you don't eat pork. You are safe because you don't smoke. You are safe because you don't eat drink coffee. Coffee No, at all. <laughs> he never mentioned about the 28 doctrine. Amen. <laughs> you are saved because Pablo when I am thirsty you give me water to drink. When I am hungry you give me bread to eat. When I am in the prison you visit me. When I am alone you pray for me. Come in. Enjoy the house of your master. Please come. And then at the left. Bebe also. Bind them. Alo chi na na Put them in the dark. Ma ona ma tha de tro. They crying there. Ngo ni ja de ma. He said, not not he said, I don't know you. No, no, I don't know you. I never known you. You I'm the starship director of the division. No, I never known you. Out from me. All the evil doors. Why I'm not safe, Jesus? When I am thirsty, you don't give me water. When I'm hungry, you not give me the bread. Out from me. The lesson. The lesson. In the beginning, God wants Adam and Eve to become a good steward. And at the end, those who will enter heaven is a good steward. A faithful steward. Therefore, began in the beginning of the world. And with last, he comes until in heaven and forever. Last forever. Salvation. Salvation. Amen. Amen. So, President, don't forget stewardship. President and Mamiwa, that's stewardship. It's the foremost in our life. If stewardship is okay, Sabbath school. Sabbath school. Like activities. Uh, activity do. Education. Education. Do. Nothing to worry. Puzam load. Everything is okay. Hello, okay, one minute. If there was if it's terrible. When I zoom, Macon, you know. Everything is terrible. Hello, and yes, she did. If there was if it's weak. She was it, I need it. So, yeah. Everything is getting weak. Then I don't care, man. That's why it's there was it. It's not only, it's not only a program. It's about the whole aspect of life for our salvation. It's the fundamental of our faith. Let's live together. This is in our fundamental belief. Chapter 21. Chapter 21. Let's read together. One, two, three. One, two, three. We, we are God's steward and trusted by, by him with time and, and opportunities. opportunities. Abilities and possessions, and the blessings of the earth and its resources. We are responsible to Him for their proper use. We acknowledge God's ownership by faithful service to Him in our fellow human beings and by returning tithe and giving offerings for the proclamation of His gospel and the support and growth of His church. Stewardship is a privilege given to us by God. For nurture in love and victory over selfishness and covetousness. Stewards rejoice in the blessings that come to others as a result of their faithfulness. Be a faithful steward.
Be faithful until death. God wants us to be faithful steward. Because this is the beginning and the end of the all answer. Let us teach our people there in the church. Not because the money from them. But because this is a privilege given by God. For nurture in love. And the victory over selfishness. And covetousness wants us to be faithful. Stewardship challenge. Biblical stewardship is misunderstood by many of our church members to mean tithe and offering. And this misconception and our constant focus on giving, including fundraising, has created the following problems. Mistrust of church leaders and system. Diversion of tithe and offering by members to other persons, groups, and organizations. Sit to what project giving. Resistance to worship education by pastors and church members. I've experienced many things, many times in the past. There are, there are leader, pastor, or even president. President, pastor, or any leader who made mistake. Member said. I will never return the tithe and offering to the church anymore. Because of the mistaken done by our people, our, our pastor, our leader. You know, you have problem with that man. Or with someone. You never have problem with God. Tithe is belongs to God. It's God's. It belongs to God's. Why you and God never has problem? You stop returning the tithe to the church because of your problem with the president of the pastor problem. Because of this misconception, the person of tithe and offering by members to other person, group, and organization. That's why everywhere we can see people don't return the tithe anymore in the church. They give to a group to the offshoot of movement. They give to, they give to their, uh, their uh, special, uh, what do you call it? Um, special uh, Special group. They to the project. project of Misconception. They shift toward project giving. And because of this, pastors no longer speak on stewardship. Then God said, let us make men in our image. According, According to our likeness. Let them have dominion. This is, uh, in Hebrew means rada. Rada. Dominion over the fish of the sea. Dominion over the birds of the air. Rada and over the cattle. Rada over the earth and rada over every creeping and rada over creeps on the earth. Rada, rada, dominion. So that's why God created Adam and Eve. To have dominion. That is about total life management. It's about human life, including culture and experiences given by God. It's about dominion of the world. To manage the life, the world, including flora and fauna created by God. To dominate family, the human life family and society established by God. 
manage material resources, including finances that belong to God. And to dominate, to manage times, including the Sabbath appointed by God. Stewardship is about total heart commitment. So it's about the heart. Stewardship is the matter of the heart. Now we live in the high tech. But now in stewardship, we need to have a high touch. Not high tech, but high touch. You know, when I, when I, I was president of the mission, in every mission session, in the past, about uh, uh, every three years, now five years, before the sessions began, some of the elders come to my office. President, usually in the session, there is a time for the meeting committee to move a pastor. Place. So moving happened. Done by the nominating committee. But before the session comes, the members, the elders come to my house. Pastor Saku, please move our pastor. Before the session began, <laughs> please move him. You don't like him anymore. Then I said, why? You know, Pastor. Yes. He got MA degree from Ayas. Master. In systematic. No doctrine very well. Doctrine. Wow. He can debate. When he preached, biblical preaching, the Bible, very good preacher, good uh, uh, academically, very good. But Pastor, please move him. President, <laughs> 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 Why? Pastor, he's been in our church for five years. No, 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 sorry. For three years. But he never spent time to visit us. <laughs> you know Pastor Bonfi Marcos from the General Conference? Can we confirm Pastor Bonfi? Uh, when, when we had a Jesus in Texas, San Antonio. I was there. Uh, I was a member of the nominating committee of the general conference two times already. General conference, nominating So we appointed Pastor Bonfin to become the director of the general conference. And uh, in March we had advisory. We were uh, invited to the general conference to discuss about what to do during the next five years. So in a meeting we asked him, Pastor Bonfin, you are a new director of the general conference. Stewardship director. What is your plan in the future for the five years? He said, please, all director of the division, please give me time for one year. I'm still new here at the I have many things to do. But please give me time for one year. I will have to visit at least all division of the whole world division. Or even union. Or even mission for the whole year. At the physician for the whole one year, I will get the idea of what to do in stewardship. So we dismissed during advisory. Advisory A year later, he sent us email. He said, I have been in European country, Australia, Asia, America. 
ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่
For one week, I stay there with my people there. I pray for them in his house, stay with them for the whole week. And on Sabbath, I took time with them, all members in the church. We practice a song. A song. A song. I, I was the one who lit the church. So I went home after one week. The next Sunday, I went home after one week. The second week, I went to the second church. I stayed with them for one week. Same thing I did. To do that, the whole day visitation. The evening seminar. And on Sabbath, I took time on Sabbath. To practice the same song. The same man, same pastor, same voice, same design, same style. To do the same style. The bones are made, the bones are made, the bones are the third week, I went to the third church. Stay with them. The fourth week, the fourth church. Stay with them. So for the, for the whole man, I visited his house. I memorized the name. Name of the husband, the year of baptism, of his wife, baptism year, children, where they are in school, even the name of the cat and dog I memorized. <laughs> so they are really happy. You know what happened? One year after, we had a Sabbath school congress. No, no, sorry, sorry. Two months after, we had a Sabbath school, union-wide Sabbath school congress, union-wide. Union Sabbath school, This church is only small church. One church consists of 30 members. Second one, 60 members. Third one, 40 members. Last one, 100 members. Small church. For many, many years, in many, many big programs, the people don't know them. Because small churches are left behind. They never, they never uh, appear in the big events of the school. Now we have a union-wide school congress. 2,000 people coming. 15,000 people in the big, big auditorium. Oh, you have been there. On Sabbath, you remember Sabbath? Can you accommodate 10,000 people? So I asked the Sabbath school director of the mission. Please assign my district church, my four churches. Let them sing before the pastor priest on Sabbath before 1,000 people. So it was the first time for this church. One of the participants in singing before the sermon start. Remember, I, I train them separately. separately. One church, same song. Same gesture. <laughs> same song, same gesture. Now they're surprised. They combine in a big meeting. District uh, combine four churches. So I was there and I conduct. ตัวอะไรก็ยังก่อนนักนะเออเราแต่เราเลยเลยสิโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ
అతను అతిథి లేరు కూటి ఏ రాలేదు విచ్ ఇస్ ఎ గ్రాండ్ మా అపార్టీ ఆఫ్ సీత లేరు హి సన్ ఇస్ ట్రెసరర్ ఆఫ్ ది చర్చ్ టు దార్ బనై హి ఇస్ ఎ విడో టు ఆ మౌసమ ఆవే ఓడి ది విడో ఫర్ మీ బీన్ వర్డ్ ఇన్ 20 ఇయర్స్ నెట్వర్క్ టీవీ అండ్ హి లివ్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ ఇన్ ఎ స్మాల్ హౌస్ ఏ ది దిల్లి మనీ దే స్మాల్ హౌస్ ఏ ది దిల్లి ఓన్లీ వన్ రూమ్ ఫర్ హౌస్ కన్ కమ చి దే అండ్ అండ్ కిచెన్ సాదా ఖాని ఇర్కన మీ బో జా అండ్ లివింగ్ రూమ్ స్మాల్ వన్ ఏ ది దిల్లి మెస్ అట్వల ఓ ఇవెన్ దేర్ టాలు యార Hello grandma good morning Apa ni kau nak ambil lawa Talk with her Sekarang ya biar eh you know when you visit not like this Dan Hello sir Sia How are you Ni kau nak Let's pray Sudah ya Bye bye Tata tara me No that's the hard Dia mesti hari is that Sit there to do time ah Talk with them Sekarang yo ba Many people baptize Pero ni jangan ala po Kali ni asli po Sekarang ni ayo ba. Oh, that interest. Tu dunia ti sebab ni. Oh, pay for them. Tu dunia sebab. So grandma, how are you, grandma? Ni kau nak apa? Best grandpa. Apa? Pass away long time ago. Cari dia kau nak. What is your uh, What is your uh, <coughs> living? Earn for living. Mini ni bana sahaja. Oh, I don't have salary. I don't have. Uh, yeah. with that. No, no, no. Kau ada nama siu sahaja. Yeah. How many children? How many? Kali ni awak sile. Oma, grandma. Apa? How How do you earn? Uh, money for living me sabure be pesan ya le si what si what it is it is she say la she be so said pasa sakul pasa sakul i'm all you old na ubi what for many many years ne bound ro me ya ro how can i live na blu te si am le i have no work no job na lo me siu i have no farming na me da zu me siu retirement na pin sin le me siu you know what i'm doing na ba lo le di la re and she so us at the back of the of the chicken uh, oh, a kitchen there is a chicken me bo jao now ma che de moi da so many what you call it? i don't know in english many chicken you know the back che de myai de you pick egg you know egg oh u u be so the way for life you know he sell the eggs in the market and he buy oil he buy rice che u de yao ne from selling the eggs చే ఉ యామి నో సాని వెర్ సి రి వెర్ సాని నే దు ఉతే షే మోడ దు లో దే ఓకే కామి చే దు దే నా ఐ థింక్ ఇట్స్ నా ఫర్ హియర్ ఫర్ మీ టాబి నా దు తలేరా ఏ కోయ్ హో మమా ఏ బ్యానో మే ఫార్ లెట్స్ ప్రే బిఫోర్ వి లీవ్ సు టాబి మే ఫార్ నో నీడ్ టు నీల్ డౌన్ బికాస్ హి ఇస్ టు మే టౌన్ ఏ ఫార్ యా రే బిమ్ జస్ట్ సిటింగ్ లో వెట్ హైని వా చెనో సు టాబి మే క్లోజ్ నీని గా టాబి రో ఫర్ గ్రాండ్ మా సు టాబి రే ఫార్ ఐ పుట్ మై హ్యాండ్ ఆన్ హర్ లెగ్ ఓ బకో మోర్ టీమ్ సు టాబి రే బెట్ ఓ మా నే 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 So down be there. Why I was praying, he cried. So down is him. I'm praying. Lord, the love of my grandma. He has the king. She jumped over there. Lord, the best thing. Take her all. He has the king. So down be there. Amen. Be over there, come on. After praying. So down be there, come on. Bye bye, Oma. With my wife. Father, Father, no, Father, my man, I do what. Father, wait, 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 wait. They are saying, "Can I know? Can I know?" For a few minutes. Can I know? Can I know? So then, at the back of the. And now go with our there. Of the kitchen. Me will join now with our there. Plastic. Plastic. Are you there? Put in the whole egg, sixteen eggs. So chow low na chow thay la de. Plastic. Plastic. So sakul mi sakul, please take this egg. Pasa sakul mi no thay la. He took everything, not no more for her. Me you lie de kolon na. Grandma. Pa. I have salary. Nga malaza si de. From the mission. Nga mission la zami de. Nga te yao. We have monthly salary. Nga malaza si de. Grandma no salary. Min la zam si u. Just sell it for you, grandma. Min yao ma. Nga ta melo ba. I care for you. I care for you, Oma. Grandma. Ni sam si u nga la le da ba. Can she cry? Tu ngu re. Pastor, please take it. Si a ju ba. It's from my heart. Nga na lo na ga ni pi da ba. I was touched by your prayer, Pastor. Min su taw bi da nga khan sa re. Please take it. Ti u re ju ba. I said, Mama, no need to take. Mai ma pyo da me ju ne. He said, Pastor. Si a re. If you don't take it. Ni me ju ne. I will become a slider. Nga din ho tro me. I will stop going to the church. Nga pya jom tho ro de. I said my wife honey, me ma ye. You better take it. Nga ro you la me de ne. Otherwise, ma ho no. He will become a slider. Tu din ho tro le me. So we took the egg. U you la de che. You know a member. Jo jin ne din ma ri. Even they have nothing. Tuzi ma ba ma machi na ma. They gave all to you. Si da re kon kya ro. Even they have nothing. Tuzi ma ba ma machi na. They are even willing to die for you. 
Amen. Amen. Because you love them. You care for them. You go to their house just to show that you care for them. Not going to your house. Brother and sister, Brother and sister I'm here. I want to pray for you. Because last month, you don't return your tithe in the church. <laughs> no, never mention that. Never mention their unfaithfulness in your visitation. You just go there, pray for them, just show them that you care for them. Amen. Amen. If you care for them, automatically, they're going to return the tithe and give the offering to the church. The most important one, answer Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God. The Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Heart. Mind, body, and soul. The wholeness. Stewardship is all of me in response to all of God. Pastor, sequel, until what time I shall stop? Until what time? Four? Thirty. Okay. Four thirty? Okay. Almost. So the most important is. Heart, love to God. If you, if you love the Lord, if you love Jesus, you will give something. Uh, when I, when I, uh, when I was finished my college year, I was struggling to find uh, my life companion. Uh, <laughs> in college, <laughs> uh, from high school, uh, I lived in dormitory in academy. Dormitory three years. I was working in the, in the kitchen for three years. I woke up early in the morning at three o'clock, cooking for 1,000 students. And class time is during half day in the morning. And at noon, at noon I work in the warming area until 5 p.m. In the evening, all of the students study in the chapel, study period time until 9 o'clock. While they are studying, I work in the dining hall, cafeteria, to mop the floor and clean the table, dining hall. I got three jobs. No time to study. And then I finished high school. I went to college. Same job. In the morning, cooking. In the noon, farming. In the evening, work in the cafeteria. Until 10 o'clock. I sleep every 10 o'clock, every night, 10 o'clock. Then I woke up at 3 o'clock. Only 5 hours sleep every night. For 8 years. Three in academy, five years in college. Eight years I was a self-supporting student. Working hard. Working hard. That's why I was a shy person. All my classmates from academy until college, they had a girlfriend. Me, no girlfriend. <laughs> because book is too dead, you know. All my, you know, already, you know, has hole. And uh, my shoe already has hole also. <laughs> Very poor. I have no notebook. What I did, in one year, two months vacation. Most of the student, the student room in the dormitory, they just left all their books, notes behind, and they just go. So when they left the dormitory, I went inside, I took all the newspaper, to I took the empty one and put in one to become my note for the next, next quarter. I never buy soap. No money. 
Pasal apa mesti bayar? What I did? Palu dah sura. What I did? Palu dah tiada. I work in the kitchen. Mibu jangan malu lor eh. And there is a soap left over. Mibu jangan malu pakai si de. I went to the dormitory. dormitory. Asal tu ada. My friend they took a bath, you know, not shower bath, like this, you know, bath. Ye cure jangan malu. There is, a, there is a, what you call it, like wall, you know. Uh, and on the top of the wall si they put their left, they 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 what you call it, they they soap, small soap, but they use the small one lift on the top. Sabia cuman jangan elu betara si de. So I went there. Tu tu ada. I step on the. Uh, and then I saw the leftover soap. Every day there is leftover. I use every day. Belongs to many, many students, you know. Very poor. I have no toothbrush. My parents are very poor, my parents. No toothbrush. No money to buy. No, this is my secret. <laughs> because I want, I, I'm going to retire. I'll tell you my toothbrush. You know what? There is a, you know, from the grass, from the grass. Like grass, you know, from the grass growing. Mm -hmm. I took the, the, the young one and I squeezed and I used it. Using the, the grass from, from the outside. Using no Everything very poor. That's why for, for, eight, for seven years, I have no girlfriend. He's <laughs> Because I have shy, shy person. <laughs> but the last year, I was calling to work in the American teacher. American So I was the one who cooked for them. Cooking for them. So now I, I look better than before, you know. It was already in American house, you know. American, I'm a little running up. Cooked for them, yeah. So I said, now time to me to head back to get a get girlfriend. She's a shabur or you're about. I'm about to retire this to to finish this year. Chow le pido me na nika. I try, I pray and I try. So down and choose that. To get courage to appeal someone, you know. Tiao yao ngao wa yiza li yao. So I got one. Eh, tiao yao yao. But three months, she broke. <laughs> because I was so many, you know, I was so many, I guess so many pimples, you know. But a lot of hair. But pimples, everywhere pimples. Maybe because of the smoke in the kitchen. I got the second one. Three months after, she broke again. I got second one. Not yet, three months after, she broke again. And the third one, three months after, she broke again. And the last, last quarter, only two months. So she accepted my offer. And then I went to see her parents. And she said, okay, okay. you are pastor, okay. And I said, I have no possession. I have no money. What I have is only my love to your daughter. So to make the story short, my parents bought a cow, a big cow. No matter how well she did, we already print the wedding, wedding invitation. Only to print out, you know, wedding invitation. Yeah. But before the wedding, it was uh, scattered, you know, the distributed, you know, distributed, you know. We already bought, uh, what do you call it, my suit. You know. the, the, the American, American they, where I stay, they, they bought the suit from Singapore. American, Seattle, Mingla, also, Singapore, where we there. Also, the, the lady, also, the, the, my, my wife to be, also nice dress, you know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The, the, the uh, wedding invitation already print out already. But not distributed. Distribu yeah. We are They're going to distribute the next morning. Now the name and name we may. Before distribution, you know. This afternoon. She called me before we have dinner. To me to Savo Kore. She said, No D, my name Modi. I'm sorry to say. I don't want to marry you. <laughs> Gone again. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> long story, long story. Ah, oh, father, to give it.
When I finished college, my friend already married. Me, not because I have no girlfriend. So when I was pastoring four churches, so Lord, please help me. Long story, long story. Long story, maybe about two hours. <laughs> forget, forget it. When we, when we met, one time, you know, I expressed my, my, my inner heart. Her name is Jane. I, said, Jane. Jane. I didn't say Jane, I love you. No. First, first met, you know. I didn't say Jane, I love you. Jane, I love you. No. I said straight. Jane, our first time to meet. Jane. I want to marry you. <laughs> Normally there are four steps, you know, before you get married. There are four steps. First one is, first step is. Window shopping. Window shopping. Second step. Dating. Third step. Engagement. Fourth step. Marriage. In my case, I go straight to the fourth step. I want to marry you. She said, Pastor, Pastor why are you too fast. Only now I met you. I said, because Jesus is coming very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking, you know? Long story, so many stories. But to make the story short, I said, Jane, I want to show you I want to express to you that I love you. I was intern pastor. I saved my three months salary. Only to buy Seiko 5. Yeah, the time Seiko 5. Not this one, long time ago. Three months salary I saved to buy brand new. Seiko 5, very popular at the time, popular. Amen. the 70s. Jane, Jane, I love you. Because I love you. I'll give you my watch. It's the sign that I love you. By giving this watch, it's the sign that from my heart, expressing my love to you, to the gift. So I gave her, to feel like and I said, thank you. And I said, I have shown you my love by giving the word to you. Show me your love to me by giving your words to me. <laughs> so she has a Titus watch, Titus. Very nice, you know. So she took out. Pastor, this is my love to you. So I, wore, I wear this, her, her watch, you know. And when I wear a long sleeve, and I cover the watch. So I fold it. And then I it. And I fish in the church. Brother and sister, this is the watch of my wife. This is the proof that she loves me. If you love Jesus, give. 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 Tell your people about the love to Jesus. Love to Jesus. If they love Jesus, there will be there will be no more complaint in the church. No complaint of financial problem. No complaint about the short of money, everything. Because love covers everything. If you love the Lord, this is the best fundamental of the stewardship. Love Jesus. With all your heart. With all your soul. With all your mind. With all your strength. Stewardship is all of me in response to all of God. Total commitment. 
How about worship, leadership, relationship, possessions, finances, languages, and ritual? Because God said, I am the Lord your God. Who brought you out of Egypt. Out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. The essence of the first commandment is to put God, creator and dreamer, in his rightful place. And that is to make him first in all things. He must be our first priority. That's why the world team is God first. Seek first God's kingdom. Kingdom is the rule and reign of Jesus Christ in our heart. Stewardship shift. In the past it called department, now it called ministry. In the past they called remuneration. Now it's restoration. In the past fundraising. Now it's faith building. In the past was money. Now it's people. In the past about development. Now it's disciples. In the past finances. Now it's spirituality. Narrow and broad. In the past people thought servership is about and offering. The broad view is Lordship of Jesus. Narrow view, just members. Broad view, God as creator. Narrow view, behavior. Broad view, values. Narrow view, pocket and wallet. Broad view, heart. Narrow view, program. Broad view is lifestyle. These are mission. Our mission is to make disciples of all people. Leading them to accept Jesus as personal Savior. United with his Roman church. Discipling them to serve him as Lord. And preparing them for his soon return. Different between steward and disciple. Steward is the servant of Jesus. Disciple is follower of Jesus. Steward is life, Jesus Lordship. Disciple is imitates the life of the master. Steward is worship the creator. Disciple is witness to the recent savior. Steward is sanctified by God's spirit. Disciple is empowered by the Holy Spirit. Steward is submit total life to Jesus. Disciple is give life to Jesus. Steward is love all people's sincerity. Disciple is love other disciples. Steward is care for the planet. Disciple is care for the community. Steward is use gift in ministry. Disciple is serve in ministry. Steward is commitment to God's mission. Disciple is make new disciples. So this the the different of the old and new and uh, narrow and broad view. No one can practice real benevolence without practicing genuine self-denial. Self-denial and the cross lie directly in the path of every Christian who is truly following Christ. Self-denial. Self-sacrifice. Self-discipline. Even to the laying down of life itself. If need be, for the sake of him who has given his life for the life of the world. God's mission, the stewardship, to manage life, Genesis 1 and 2. The commission is marriage apparel. This is in correlation. Politics, stewardship, affirm the place of God and the Bible in Seventh-day Adventist belief. The broad approach is consistent with the way Christian stewardship is expressed in Fundamental 21, 21 includes tithe and offering. Because stewardship is about spiritual responsibility of every disciple. Biblical stewardship is the total commitment. 
about the the lost tithe and the giving of the free will offering. Total commitment in one aspect is about return the God the tithe and give the offering. So again, I will show you. I will show you. You can have a piece of paper. Piece of paper. Okay. Uh, one of the pastors, please come in. Okay. <laughs> What's your name, please? Your name? Name will call it. He love. H I L L Hill. L O V E love. He love. He love. He love. English name. Oh, this name. Hill Mountain love. Oh, yeah, love. Oh, Hill love. Hill love. Okay. <laughs> Why? Uh, okay. <laughs> What is tight? Se burbu ga bale. Tight is. To return. What is offering? Oh, so that is an expression, oh, no, no, sorry, uh, an acknowledgement that we are not the owner, but God is. Offering is an expression of our love to God because he has blessed us. Sometimes we pray like this. Lord, give us money. Give us house. Give us car. Give us apple. Grapes. Give us rice. Give us water to drink. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's not the true prayer. What is prayer? What is prayer? Prayer is expression of our gratitude because God has blessed us. So we should pray like this. Lord Jesus, thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for the life. Thank you for the rice. Thank you for the life. Thank you for the dream. Thank you for everything. You have blessed us, Lord. Amen. Amen. Expression. Okay. So, Christ Lordship means Christ is the owner. And we are only a steward. Now, God is the owner. Uh, he love is he love. God is the giver. Okay? He love is the receiver. receiver. God is the giver, you are the receiver. Okay. God said, He love, He love. I will give you the whole thing. God owns everything. The whole thing is God's own. I give you. Now, this, this is belongs to God, okay? Which one? The whole thing or what one part? The whole thing. God said, he love, I love you. Ah. Now, who is the owner? I'm the owner, he's the manager. Now, I gave him everything. Now, who is the owner of this one? Who is the owner? Who is the owner now? Now. Who is the owner? I gave him already. Now, who is the owner? He said himself. Who is the owner now? I gave him already. I am the owner. God is the owner. Now I gave him all. Now, who is the owner? He loved. He loved. God! <laughs> This is the problem, you see. <laughs> no. many, many, many years, years we have learned. Now I will make a decision now. Put it in your mind. Tell your people in the church. As long as the world is, the whole universe is, God is always the owner. And man is only the caretaker or manager. 
never put themselves as the owner. God is the owner. Man is the manager. God is the giver. Man is the receiver. So, prove it to God that he love is not the owner. Prove it. Prove it to God that you are not the owner of these things. How to prove it? Prove it. Prove it to God that you are not the owner of this. Prove it. What is it? God gave to him. And prove it that he is not the owner. Prove it to God that you are not the owner. Okay. How to prove? What, what? What is that? No. He has to return something to the owner. Return something. What to return? Babiam, Biam, Lele, Biao. He has to return something. What to return? What something to return? Type. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Mala, mala. Wrong. Mala. What shall he do? To balo amles role. How to prove that he is not the owner? How to prove? To paise mahous rab lo te de piam le. Only one word. Only one word. Salut lo mere. Or not give. Oh, oh no no no! Only one word. <laughs> one word. Return it. Return. Return. You're not, you're, you're, you're not the owner. I'm the owner. You are only entrusted. So return it. How much to return? Oh, Amen. <laughs> I'm the owner. It's only a taker. Temporarily, you know. So it's all. It's not yours. <laughs> Why people withhold the tithe? Why? Because they thought they are <laughs> the owner. Return to me all. Okay. But God said, He loved. I love you. You have a wife? Have children? Yeah. Because you have wife, you have anything to do. Actually, but I said, I'm the owner of all. What I want you to do is prove it to me that you are not the owner. Only, actually, you have to return all, return all. I ask only one ten. Take one ten of the whole thing. Only small, just only small, only small. One ten, only one ten, just seven more this one ten is representing the whole ten, the whole thing. Actually, mine is the whole things. By returning by this one, one ten is representing this. I am the owner of this and this. So when he gives the one ten, he pay or he give. Pay or give. One ten. Pay the tithe or give the tithe. Pay or give. Not give, not pay. But amen. He return. And this is holy to God. Don't touch. Don't keep. 
Don't use it. Hold it to God. The Bible says, the one ten, the one ten, even the, the, the sheep is blind or limping. Don't mind. One, two, three, one, ten. Now, when he's only returned, he, never, he faithfully returned the tithe every month, every week, every month. Faithfully. He only faithfully returned the tithe. But he never gave. When he start giving, when he start giving, when he will start giving. When, okay. When he start giving. When, when. He start giving. Almost, almost. He start giving after return the tithe. Even you are faithful, everyone is not tight, but you never start giving. So when he is going to give, when? When he start giving, when? He start giving after the of tight. Quits means offering. Give the offering. So offering start from after return of the tight. Now give offering. Tithe is 10% of income. Tithe is 10% of income. Less income, less tithe. No income, no tithe. Now, what about the offering? Offering is of income. How many percent? You decide. You pray about it. When they say, no, 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 for your income. Let's say 5% of your income. Offering 10% of your income. Offering 10% from your income. 5% from your income. Less income, less offering. No income, no offering. Now, let's say 10%. Now, offering, how much you will give? How many percent? You have a lot of people there. A few, you have a million. How many percent? Fifteen percent. Fifteen percent. Oh, very good. Fifteen percent. Fifteen percent. Very good. You start with the above, you know, not the low, you know. Yeah, yeah, take a look. So, offering. Okay, this is. Okay, this is. So, offering. Okay. <laughs> okay, offering. Pay or to pay or to return. Offering. To pay or to return. To give the offering. Give the offering. Now you start giving. Tithe and offering just like, just like a twin brothers. They have to go to the church together, to the improper church. Church, sir, good morning. Tight is elder brother. Where's your elder brother? Oh, here, tight. Where's your youngest brother? Oh, he's at home. He's at home. Not coming to the church. Many times, after these people only come to church, only bringing a little brother. Little brother, at home, say at home. You have a little brother. Little brother, you have to bring the twin brothers every Sabbath to the church. Tithe and offering. Twin brothers. Amen. Amen. The more you give, the more you blessed. Okay, Jesus, I have water. What says, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Or the more you give, the more you blessed. It is, Jesus said in Acts 20, verse 
36 or 26. It is more blessed to give than to receive. I have water. Mathematically speaking, who is blessed? Me or he love? Mathematically speaking, mathematically. Who is blessed? Sakul or he love? Who is blessed? Mathematically speaking. Who is blessed? Sakul or he love? Who is blessed? I have water, he has no water. Who is blessed? Mathematically. Sakul, why? I have water. And he doesn't. But what Bible says, it is more blessed to give than to receive. I am, a, I am the giver, he is the receiver. Spiritual blessing. If I want to have more blessing, I have to give. I give to Hillel. Materially speaking, who is blessed? Sakul or Hillel? He love is blessed. Mathematically. I'm not. But spiritually, I have more blessing than he love. Why? Because I gave. The giver has more blessing than the receiver. Because I gave, I have more blessing. Because he only received, he has less blessing. What he should do in order to have more blessing? What shall you do in order to have more blessing? Give. You give. Now, Pastor, he love has more blessing. Less blessing. Because he gave and you only receive. If you want to receive more blessing, give Bible says it is more blessed. To give Amen. Amen. Time is up. God bless you. All. จะจุดเต็มมาเลยเอ่ออารมณ์จะจุดเต็มมาเลยคุณลีนายแควมาเนี่ยนี่ซาเนเน่ป้าป้าซาบูเวพี่ป้าเลยเฮฟวีดอม
ကျွန်တော်ဒီကျမ်းကျမ်းမာမာတဲ့ပြောပြောရှင်ရွတ်နဲ့တင်ကြာပိုချနိုင်ယုံသာမကကျွန်တော်အားလုံးတို့ဒ